Good morning. Good morning. Come on in, everyone. Welcome to our replay viewers. Thank you so much for coming and checking us out. So appreciate it. And don't forget, as you're watching this replay, if you'd like to show a little bit of love by providing some hearts, your hearts count too. So if you give a little tap to the screen, that'll just let me know that I'm providing you with some useful content and that you're appreciating what it is that's being shared. Thank you to our live viewers coming in. Come on in. As well as I'd also like to give a special shout out to our YouTube viewers. If you'd ever like to join us during a live broadcast so you can be a part of the interaction, come on over to the Periscope app and follow me at Buffy Hood. For those of you who might not know who I am, my name is Buffy Hood and I am a jeweler with Premier Designs Jewelry. I've been with them for over nine years. And needless to say, I have some experiences that I've learned throughout the years of being in direct sales. So I use Periscope as a way just to be able to share some of my experiences in hopes that perhaps it can help you in your direct sales business as well. So if we have any first timers here, go ahead and put a one in the box along with your first name and the business that you represent, just so that I have an idea as to who's here. Good morning to you, Miss Myra. How are you doing, sweetheart? All right. So thank you so much for those hearts already. Wonderful. Okay, and tell me, your, tell me your name, just so I can call you by your name, because I, the screen name isn't, <laughs> I'm assuming the screen name is not your name. <laughs> Tom, okay, thank you, Tom. Thank you for being here. All right, so today, for those of you who are in Premier Designs, tell me, if I were to say the name Brandy Draper, would you totally know who I'm talking about? If I were to say the name Randy Draper to those of you who are in Premier Designs, would you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> Absolutely. Randy uh, holds, he and his wife hold the highest possible level of leadership in Premier Designs. They've been with the, with the company for almost... 31 years because believe it or not they came into the business when the business was just the company was literally 90 days old y'all okay it, the company had only been around for 90 days before randy and elizabeth draper signed up as jewelers with premier designs and they've been with them ever since and let me tell you they are awesome they're awesome okay so i happen to be going back through some of my old notes and and things like that and I stumbled across, so let me just show you this. For, for those of you who've been in for a while, you might recognize this book, okay? This was our jeweler notebook from the 2008 National Rally. That was my very first rally that I had ever gone to. Um, it was also the one that just totally changed my business, okay? It was the one that I went and I saw what was possible and went, come on, I can do better than what I'm currently doing, okay? So I, I started looking through and thought, well, let me just see what kind of little nuggets of information are in here that I can pass on to y'all, especially for those of you who may not have been in at that time. How many of you started within just the last couple of years? So you wouldn't have even been around for the 2008 national rally. Anyone? And by the way, for those of you who are here that are not in Premier, please know you're still going to get something out of this. Okay, so be sure to stick around. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you. Um, and then I'm also going to direct you to another, another place. Okay. All right. So this was a training that was shared by Randy Draper. Okay. And this was um, this one actually came from our regional rally that following January. Okay. So this book was from July of 2008, but then this would have been from the regional rally that was held in January of 2009. <clears throat> and it was titled just do it. Okay. Is what the, the title of the training was. So I'm simply going to read this to you and I'm going to, we'll just, we'll just go with it because I'm telling you it's good. I don't necessarily have to add a whole lot to it. Okay. All right. So here's what it says. Why are you hesitating? What are you waiting for? 
possibly procrastination? Or are you preoccupied? Okay, now I'm going to stop right there, though, for just a moment, because how often do we find that we are not occupying our time with our business? Because since it is our own business and we don't necessarily have a boss that's going to come fire us and everything else, we tend to push it off, push it off, push it off because there's so many other things that need done. So we tend to keep kind of pushing it off, pushing it off, and we don't pay attention to um, the lack of time that we are spending in our very own business. We tend to work harder for other people than we're willing to work for ourselves. okay? And we need to stop that, all right? Okay, um, is it a lack of confidence? You will never have confidence without doing it, okay? And I, listen, I gotta stop here again because here's the thing. I cannot tell you the number of times that I've heard from people, well, when I build some confidence, I'll do that. When I'm able to build my confidence up more, I'll do that. Y'all, you cannot build confidence without doing it first. You have to do it, fail a little bit, do it a different way, fail a little bit, tweak it a little more, fail a little bit, tweak it some more. You have to, listen, it takes practice for you to get to a point where you feel confident and comfortable. I don't know many people who have ever felt confident and comfortable doing something for the very first time. Anybody? <laughs> okay, can I get an amen on that? Because you're not going to feel confident and comfortable the very first time you do something. You're learning, okay? So you have to be willing to keep learning by doing, okay? All right, and then it goes on to say, um, doing it will increase your confidence. Stop hesitating and get in the race. Stop making excuses for your hesitation, okay? Again, so many times people will say, well, I, I'm not doing that yet because. You know how many times I've heard people say, well, I, you know, I'm not even going to share the business opportunity yet because I'm not really confident enough that I know enough to be able to train someone else. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing and this and that. Look, stop making excuses. You're not sharing because you don't want to. If you wanted to, you would be sharing and you'd be figuring it out later with your upline to be able to help get that new jeweler sponsored or get that new consultant um, trained, okay, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so is it fear? Is it fear of change? <laughs> is it fear of failure? Okay, you will fail. It is inevitable, but it is not ultimate. It is not final, okay? Don't let fear paralyze you. Y'all have heard of analysis paralysis, Okay, where you just like literally overanalyze everything to the point that you do nothing because you're so fearful of what might happen that you just don't, you just don't do anything. Okay, um, learn and persevere. We will fail. Okay, it's not a matter of if, we will fail, but that is also how we come to a point to succeed. We cannot succeed without first hitting failure after failure after failure to learn what? To learn how not to do things. To learn how we need to do it better the next time, okay? Um, not only can you do it, you will do it if you just get up and go do it, <laughs> okay? You will be nervous and it never ends. I remember, I remember Randy saying this at that training and it has stuck with me ever since, which was that he said, the butterflies never truly go away. You just teach them how to fly in formation, okay? So they're never truly gone. You just learn how to deal with it better. You just learn how to handle that situation better. You learn how to use that as a way to, um, I, I hate to say it, but as a way to let you know that you're alive, as a way to let you know that you are doing something that has some kind of meaning. You are doing something that is stretching you or you are doing something that is growing you. If you don't have 
those butterflies in your stomach anymore, if you're not nervous anymore, even the slightest little bit, then you're not pushing yourself. You're not doing as much as you could. You're not growing as much as you could. You are in that, that just level field of not doing anything, not going above what you could. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Um, he also said, if you fall, fall forward. God doesn't take time to make a nobody. Okay, how often have we heard Andy Horner say that? All right, God doesn't take time to make junk. If you're here, it's because you are valuable. You are worthy. You are extraordinary. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay, there's a reason for you being here. There's a purpose. Find it. All right, and then do your best to work toward that on a regular basis, okay? Um, you are still worth the same. This, this meant a lot, okay? You are still worth the same regardless of how battered you become, okay? Now, y'all, can I just get an amen out there from anyone who has ever felt beat down, battered, felt like they were basically put through the ringer, okay? But here's the thing. You are still worth the same. You are still worth more than rubies and gold, okay? But we tend to forget that. We tend to forget that we have value, even if we have been battered and beat along the way, okay? Um, failure is not final. Failure is an event, not a person, okay? So stop viewing yourself as a failure, you may have been involved in a certain situation that did not go as planned, but you are not a failure. That was an event. That was something that happened. That was something that can be learned from. And that is something that you can vow to do better the next time around. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where was I? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, we have to have passion. A strong and extravagant enthusiasm for our life and for our business. If we ever want anyone to look at what it is that we're doing and go, I want a piece of that. I want to be part of that. I want whatever she's got. Whatever it is that she's doing, I need to be a part of that. Okay. Hello. Good morning to you. Um, so we have to make sure that we have that strong and extravagant enthusiasm so that we can attract people to our business, that we can attract people to want to work with us, okay? Listen, if, if you are, no problem, Myra, thank you, you too. Um, if, if you are sharing your business with people, but the way that you're sharing it is not coming across as though you're very excited about it, why on earth would they get excited about it? They haven't seen the behind the scenes. They haven't seen the profit at that point. They hadn't seen anything. And if you can't be excited about what you have to offer, they're not going to be either. Okay, so you can't expect people to just jump on board with something without there being excitement and enthusiasm there. Okay, um, we got to show our love for what we do. Be nice to everyone because everyone is having a tough time that you may know nothing about, okay? We never know what people are going through. We have no idea who might be coming to one of our jewelry shows or style sessions or whatever you want to call them. We never know who might be coming here that day who maybe they just found out they lost a job. Maybe they just found out that they're taking a pay cut. Maybe their child just went off for their first year of college and they're still struggling with that. Maybe they're in the middle of going through a divorce. Maybe they just got a, a late notice in the, in the mail for a utility that's getting ready to be shut off. Maybe who knows what they got. So here's the thing, whether it's at a jewelry show or whether it's out in your everyday life or whether it's coworkers, whether it's peers, whether it's whatever, we never know what another person is going through. So be nice to everyone even if they are not first nice to you, okay? That's what God calls us to do, all right? Um, you have to have a passion for work, okay? Listen, this business does not come easy. This business does not come without sacrifice. This business um, 
can, it is, here's, here's what I'll say. The business is fun and worthwhile, but don't you dare for one minute think it's easy. It's simple. You show the jewelry. Okay. You're excited about what you do. It's simple, but it's not easy. Okay. It does require work and anything worthwhile having is not easy. All right. Um, plan your calendar. Be proactive. All right. So planning your calendar might look like, as an example, that might look like, well, hey, I know what my monthly bills are and I know that I need this amount. So therefore, I need to make sure I'm scheduling at least this many shows. Therefore, let me block out this much time in my calendar. Okay. The awesome thing about you planning your calendar and then making sure that you are sticking to those days as much as possible is your family is not going to suffer. You don't have to worry about losing family time. You don't have to worry about, um, and here's the thing, it's not to say that you will never have to miss anything family related. It's not to say that you will never have to miss a family event or that you might not have to miss a practice for little Johnny's baseball team or that you might not have to do these different things, okay? But if you are planning your calendar in such a way that you are able to create that balance, it is going to make it that much better for you for your family, for your business, okay? So you need to do that. You need to just do that, all right? Uh, you must have a plan of action. Again, that goes back to if you need this, then this is what you need to do, all right? And if you don't know how to figure that out, contact your upline. Find out what, what uh, plan of action you can put into place to be able to reach those goals. Uh, be proactive in your conversations, in your contacts. Be intentional, okay? When you're going out and you're going to be out, um, you know, running errands or doing this or doing that, don't leave your home not looking the part of the jewelry lady and expecting to get some contacts, okay? That should be your expectation. Every single time you leave your home and you're wearing some big, bold jewelry, okay, it should be your expectation that people are going to compliment you on your jewelry pieces and you're going to be able to say, thank you so much. This is this is Premier Designs. Are you at all familiar with them? And nine times out of 10, they're going to say no, because even though we've been around for almost 31 years, we only have around 29,000 distributors nationwide. That is nothing. Okay. We are still a ground level opportunity business with an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, Hall of Fame for the Direct Selling Association and all these things, yet we are still ground level opportunity, <laughs> okay? That's craziness, all right? So make sure that when you go outside of your home that you are being proactive, that you are being intentional about the contacts that you may meet that day, okay? Um, invite them to come, you know, invite them to listen to the OP, invite them to listen to an opportunity presentation about your business, all right? And that by far is the best thing that we have to offer anyone. So when she compliments you on your jewelry pieces, don't let the first thing be that you want to sell it to her. Instead, let the first thing be that you want to tell her how she can get paid to give stuff like this away for free and earn it for free herself. Okay, that's the best opportunity you have to offer her. If she's not interested in that, then talk to her about doing a jewelry show. If she's not interested in that, then explain to her that she can just purchase that piece. And in fact, she can purchase it right off your body if she wants, okay? So keep those kind of things in mind. Um, even if she's not interested in the business opportunity herself, chances are she knows someone who needs a change in their financial picture. She knows someone who has just been praying for God to reveal a way to them that they're gonna be able to take care of their financial needs. Okay, there are hundreds of thousands of people who will never know about Premier if you don't tell them, because guess what? Premier does not advertise. The fact that we do not advertise, the fact that you will never see commercials for Premier show up on your TV, the fact that we don't, you know, spend hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars on advertising means that the only way people find out is by us sharing that and we should be sharing that okay 
Uh, you also have to have a servant's heart. Okay, you have to have a servant's heart. And that means being a giver. That means loving on people, even if they're difficult to love. <laughs> okay, that means going above and beyond what you need to do because it's what God says is right. Okay. Um, you also need to find out what is your purpose with Premier. What are you passionate about with Premier or with whatever company it is that you're with? Okay. And this, this is something that I've often heard Randy talk about on a regular basis. If God has placed something on your heart, he has already given you the tools necessary to complete it. Okay. While you might not feel like you yet have the skill level for that, if he has placed a dream on your heart, he's already provided you with a way to be able to see that come to fruition. Now, that might mean through your upline. That might mean going to more trainings. That might mean doing more research. But he's already put the tools available to you that will allow you to build on that skill, that will allow you to get to where you are able to complete that dream that he's placed in your heart, okay? The other thing is, if he has already placed something on your heart, he's already told you he wants you to do it. Stop saying you have to keep praying about it, <laughs> okay? Randy has talked about this so many times, and I still remember him talking about that, where he was saying, you know, you have these people who say, well, you know, I really feel led to talk to you about this business, and then they talk to you about the business and they go, well, I still need to pray about it. And he's going, what do you need to pray about? God already told you he wants you to do this. Why do you need to keep praying for something God's already told you he wants you to do? <laughs> okay. And it's so true. We feel led to do things. Yet then we keep sitting there going, well, I need to pray about it more. I need to pray about it more. Look, he's already put it in your heart. He's already put it there. So stop feeling like you have to, because what will happen is instead of praying about it, you will talk yourself right out of it and you'll talk yourself right out of whatever plan it was that God had for you. Now I'm going to try to very quickly um, pull something up here because there was a verse attached to this and I want to pull it up. And the funny thing is it's in first Corinthians and my Bible app was already in there. <laughs> okay. Um, so he had had, uh, 1 Corinthians 8, 11, and because of your knowledge shall the weak brother perish for whom Christ died. Okay. Um, so that was, that was what he had attached to that. But here's the other thing that I want to throw out there to you is that Randy has a training. It wasn't even this training, but it was, it was another one that goes right along with it. And it is called Just Do It. So if you go to YouTube, you can look up Randy Draper, Just Do It, Premier Designs National Rally, um, and it, it'll come right up for you. Now, I will forewarn you, this was the training that sent my husband over the edge <laughs> at our very first national rally in 2008 that made him go from basically being like a silent partner slash supporter of like, I'll get your catalogs ready for you. I'll help you load the car. I'll take care of the kids. I'll, you know, take care of dinner. I'll do all these things. Basically took him from that to, um, there's so much more we can be doing with the, this business. Like, let's go do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> okay. Cause he truly like, try like he basically tried to take over my business and <laughs> and that didn't fare very well with me because I'm going this is my baby like so I will forewarn you that it is a very powerful training that once you finish watching it you might be like you know your butt is on fire like you need to get up and go do something all right so I highly recommend that you go check that out um, and we are, believe it or not, already at 830. Okay. Do you guys believe that? That was, that was a little ridiculous. Um, 
I didn't even have my little timer go off. So I don't know if I accidentally turned it off or what happened. So um, I will take just a quick minute. Does anybody have anything that they would like to add? Anyone have anything that they would like to um, share or throw out there for me? Anybody got anything? And thank you, by the way, for the hearts that I saw occasionally coming up through, all that kind of good stuff. I wanted to make sure that we got through all of the information and wasn't quite sure how long that was going to take. Thank you for those. Yes, Randy Randy is um, a phenomenal trainer. Phenomenal trainer. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay, so let me, I tell you what, I'm going to pull it up on YouTube myself here quick. And because I know exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so let me pull it up and then I can tell you the exact title. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. I'm glad I looked this up because there are apparently several things. Give me one second. <laughs> okay. And I, there's no way that he took this off of there. So let me see if I can find it here. Y'all, I might have to locate it and put it in the Buffy's toolbox group. Okay. So is everyone here a part of the, um, the toolbox group on Facebook? Okay. Yeah. I might need to, because, um, since that time, Randy has a lot of other uh, videos as well because he has also put a book out and all that kind of good stuff um, as many of you know so he has um, lots of videos out about that and so let me see I was double checking mm -hmm. That's craziness. Yeah, it used to be that when I would attempt to pull it up, it was like the very first thing that came up. <laughs> and now he's got all kinds of other things on here. So um, I will need to do some weeding through and be able to try to find that video for you. Um, and then I will post that in the toolbox group. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to let you go. Um, Unity. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure where I might have missed another comment. <laughs> not sure that I understood. That. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I will double check that and be able to get that link out to you. If for any reason I can't find it, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about it tomorrow and let you know. Uh, now, don't forget, tomorrow is Thursday. That is our Truth Be Told Thursday. That's where you have an opportunity to ask me the who, what, where, when, how, why of my business, kind of the why I do certain things, what do I do for this. Uh, maybe you have certain situations that you just kind of feel like you're struggling in or you're not really sure. Um, uh, no, the one called unity, that would have been just from this year. This was, this was one from 2008. So I'll have to see, um, I may have that somewhere saved or something else that I will, I'll see if I can find that. Um, but it is, it is a great, great video, but I think just since that time frame, I mean, that's been eight years. <laughs> so I think just since then, there has been so much more of Randy put on, um, YouTube that it's just, it's not showing it up in the most recent and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, I'll see what I can do to find that and we will get a chance to talk tomorrow. Uh, but again, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for, um, just being here with me. I so appreciate it. Cause if it wasn't for you guys being here, 
I mean, these scopes would not have the same impact on me or anyone else if y'all weren't here to be able to interact with me. So I so appreciate that. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thank you so very much. You guys have an amazingly blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.